the Lord has told us to earnestly desire the best gifts. We need to see the gifts of healing and the working of miracles in operation today. Smith Wigglesworth was a faith-filled man of God whose sermons have set fire in the hearts of so many as they pursue the supernatural Christian life. Let's hear what Smith Wigglesworth said about dealing with cancer and the heart position we need to have when we minister to the sick. When I was in the plumbing business, I enjoyed praying for the sick. Urgent calls would come and I wouldn't have time to wash up, and with my hands all black, I would preach to these sick ones, my heart all aglow with love. Ah, you have to have your heart in it when you pray for the sick. You have to get right to the bottom of the cancer with a divine compassion, and then you will see the gifts of the Spirit in operation. When you deal with cancer, recognize that it's a living, evil spirit that is destroying the body. I had to pray for a woman in Los Angeles one time who was suffering with cancer, and as soon as it was cursed, it stopped bleeding. It was dead. Then the natural body pushed it out because the natural body had no room for dead matter. It came out like a great big ball with tens of thousands of fibers. All these fibers had been pressing into her flesh. These evil powers moved to get a bigger hold of the system, but the moment they are destroyed, their hold is gone. Jesus said to his disciples that he gave them power to loose and power to bind. It is our privilege in the power of the Holy Ghost to loose the prisoners of Satan and let the oppressed go free. Deal with it like an evil spirit, like a living being. Speak to it, tell it to go. That living cancer must die. With the power to loose and the power to bind, binding that cancer, loosing that healing, any life that's in that cancer is not life from God. So it goes in the name of Jesus Christ. And it dies in the name of Jesus Christ. And how can we get there? How can you get there? to set free all those around you who suffer from cancer and sickness and all kinds of diseases. Well, here's what Smith says about that. Take your position in the first epistle of John and declare, Greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. Then recognize that it's not you that has to deal with the power of the devil, but the greater one that is in you. Oh, what it means to be filled with him. You can do nothing of yourself but he that is in you will secure the victory. Your being has become the temple of the Holy Spirit. Your mouth, your mind, your whole being becomes exercised and worked on by the Spirit of God. Greater is he that is in you than he that's in the world. People ask, oh, you think you can heal the sick? Oh, you think you heal them? No, that's silly. God in you, his spirit in you. Greater is he that's in you than in the world. Greater is he that's in you than in that cancer. Greater is he that is in you than in any of these things that the enemy tries to put in your path. It's not your power. It's not your mind. It's not your understanding that does the fighting. God does the fighting. He does the work. You obey. You are the temple. Him in you. The spirit in the temple is the life. The temple is the housing. It's the hands. It's the voice. But him in you. Christ in you by the Holy Spirit. That's how it all gets done. I believe that there's more to come. I believe God has so much more to do in our age and the generations to follow. Look at what Smith said about expectation. We've been seeing such wonderful miracles lately, and they're only a portion of what we're going to see. I believe that we are right on the doorstep of wonderful things. 
but I want to emphasize that all these things will be through the power of the Holy Spirit. Don't think that these gifts will just fall on you like ripe cherries. There's a sense in which you have to pay the price for everything you get. We must earnestly desire God's best gifts and say amen to any preparation the Lord takes us through so that we can be humble, usable vessels who, operating by the power of the Holy Spirit, He can use in the gifts of healing and the working of miracles.